And coherence is rhythm, right? You talked earlier on about brain-heart coherence. It's a term that I've not heard before. I didn't know that there was a connection between my brain and my heart. Oh, there's a definite connection between your brain and heart. So we were so fascinated. We, we started in our, when we were doing our electroencephalograms, you know, our brain studies. Um, we, we put a, a cardiac lead uh, from the heart uh, uh, to the machine. And we started looking at HRV in comparison to brain waves. And coherence is rhythm, right? So when waves are kind of moving in rhythm like this, you can you can see that on the brain scan, right? There. So so if you think of waves that are coherent, being very orderly and be, being very rhythmic, um, when they're when they're out of order, like choppy, and they're on different parts of the brain are in different rhythms, that's when the brain's incoherent, right? And, and so when we started uh, looking at um, training people how to broaden their awareness to sense space, when you're sensing space, the act of sensing and feeling causes you to stop analyzing and thinking. And if you're not analyzing and thinking, you start suppressing neocortical activity. Your brainwaves start to slow down. And, and so when you broaden your awareness and you, instead of narrow your focus on something physical or material, that's what the stress hormones do, but if you broaden your awareness and you sense space and you, uh, this act of sensing causes you to no longer analyze and think and your brainwaves start to move into alpha. Now an alpha, which is this brainwave, is a slower brainwave state. That's the creative state of the brain. When you, when you get beyond beta brainwaves and you move into alpha, you start opening the door between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Now, we're not just looking for any type of alpha, but we're looking for a coherent alpha. So we want all those compartments that were firing in different rhythms and different uh, frequencies, all of a sudden start doing this. So now the whole entire brain starts moving into what's called global coherence. Now, when the brain starts synchronizing like that, what sinks in the brain starts to link in the brain and the whole brain starts to fire as one neurological network. And that's what our data shows.